the first time since the school shooting in Uvalde, Pflugerville ISD Safety and Security Committee met to discuss emergency operating procedures. District leaders say preventing violence on campuses is always a priority. KVU's Mike Maru joins us now live from Pflugerville ISD headquarters. And Mike, even though tonight's meeting wasn't about Uvalde, it's on the minds of students and parents. That's right, Quita and Brian. The committee is made up of local district leaders as well as local emergency responders from Pflugerville and Austin. And members of that committee definitely had some safety questions for this local school district, given what we've learned so far from the Uvalde shooting. Committee members ask questions about door safety, intruder alarms, and the emergency operating procedures. Going into the summer, the committee uses this meeting, which was scheduled months ago, to review policies and plan for next school year. While the district won't share those policies for safety reasons, the Uvalde shooting played a small role in tonight's discussion. Uvalde is still very fresh. Um, it's something that none of us will forget, I know, but, um, at, at this point, we haven't received the after action plan really to know um, what transpired and what caused that to happen, um, what safety procedures may have been followed or may need to be fixed. So um, at this point, although I'm sure it weighs heavy on everyone's minds, it's not the main topic for us until we get that after action plan. The district plans to wait for those after action reports from the Uvalde shooting. From there, they can make their own takeaways. And that district spokesperson added they always learn something from school shootings, whether it was Sandy Hook 10 years ago, Santa Fe four years ago, or Uvalde just 13 days ago. And tonight's meeting reviewed the safety policies, emergency operating procedures from last year. They'll meet again once in October to start the school year off on a note of safety. Brian Quita. Give you Mike Marut reporting live for us in Pflugerville tonight. Thank you, Mike.